way over there. And then right over there is where I was on the beach. Or that's that channel I have to cross in the boat there. Check out this little spot here. Less traveled. All right, I decided to risk the camera here. I'm gonna get some big weight from this boat. Find it. All right, the little engine that could. When that was designed back in the 60s, little did they know it would be used for ocean going here in 2007. Ted Williams, Sears Roebuck, with a, with a handle extender PCV pipe on it. Shell Island Tours by that poncho. And then you can see Shell Island way over there around that point. And here I am in my tent. Love my new tent, but the only problem is water just comes right in. It's not even raining. It's just dew. And of course, this is the first time it's been used. It's brand new. And it's just the fabric is simply not... <laughs> I don't know why Eddie Bauer would make a tent, but the like this but the fabric is simply not waterproof at all it's just there's dew on it and the dew is just coming through and dripping in all over the floor I think I'm gonna try and send it back or something I don't know I hate to have to do that but that's pretty ridiculous I've never heard of a tent that water just comes right in when I take it home I'll set it up spray the hose on it and see what happens maybe it's because it's this condensation or something but seems rather strange sure is spacious though and nice for me but damp. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> oh, I made the body got me good. I hurt too. It's kept crap on me. <laughs> he ate my neck off. There he is. He's a biggie. Oh shoot. Yeah. Right. Oh, my God. Rachel, you're not even sleeping. Oh, get up here. He's gonna try to hit that. Oh, he's got a big one now. Oh, she would come buddy. over here. Let's go find a dolphin. All right, here I am at Gator Lake. Last evening here on the trip saw there's some photos I saw a gator earlier a couple of them one big one and one little one I went hiking around a little bit and then uh, earlier went snorkeling saw didn't see as much as I hoped I took an underwater camera didn't get much in the way of pictures got some jellyfish there's an island out there it's all full of those big white I guess they're white herons is what they look like and uh, big blue herons as well there goes one along with some other birds, I think egrets, snowy egrets perhaps. I don't know. Wish the gator would come back. Some uh, noisy tourists threw sticks at it and scared it off. It's a real haven for those birds out there. Check out this sign, beware of the alligators, wild and dangerous. They're kind of like me. Here's the cove where I was snorkeling today. Just right along that jetty there. Didn't see a heck of a lot. Maybe the wrong time of the year. Hiked all along through here. It's gonna be like a last shot. It's beautiful here. Incidentally, right across there, Shell Island, where I went yesterday. Let's see. I know it's going to be hard to see, but it's right down under that bluff is where I beached the canoe and then hiked along down there behind that jetty and that speedboat to the Gulf side. And 
course, here we are on the Gulf side again here. Out of the snorkeling cove there. I need to get one more shot of my home away from home here before it gets too too dark. There's the fire. kitchen. Dinner's cooking there. Sausage for the pasta. And then once more we take you out to the to the beach here, to this little beach. It's low light. Maybe you can see it. Canoe launching point. Been a beautiful trip. Just missing that sporty, gorgeous, delightful female companion. <laughs>